I would just say it's our only hope. Uh, mm -hmm. Policies, politicians, um, is they're not adequate. Uh, mm -hmm. Sin is too real, it's too deep. And we look at these lenses through American context, but if you study the globe internationally, uh, these same plans and treasons and genocides and hate is flowing in every sphere of human existence. Mm -hmm. And only Christ is the answer. Um, in John 9, um, Jesus sees a man that was born blind. His disciples want to know a theological question. Who sinned? Or what, who was it? Was, was it? was it his parents or was it him? Mm -hmm. and, and Jesus like totally ignores it and, right. and just go the, what Jesus does and starts to minister to that person in that state. And I think that's what we have to do with the gospel. Um, we're not going to be able to heal America. We're not going to be able to heal the pain of this country's existence. We're not going to be able to heal the pain of uh, what happens in the continent of Africa, uh, what happens in, in on the continent of Asia, countries like China, Hong Kong, that debate that's going on there. Yeah. Middle East, all the tensions that takes place there with women's rights. We're not going to be able to do that. What we are going to be able to do is in the context that he presents us is to be able to say to them, um, that uh, be able to heal them of whatever it is that they were born with, that plague of sin, the same way that man was born with sin. And, and Jesus answers that question beautifully. It's not that he sinned or that his mother sinned, but it's that the works of God may be glorified through him. Now, we ultimately know that uh, sin is the root cause of everything. That's not what Jesus is saying there. Jesus is saying, no, all of this is part of my divine plan. And we have to look through these things, these issues, even from a George Floyd, COVID-19, uh, to whatever the next news cycle of pain and hurt that comes on through the lens of a good God, a holy God, that's able to get glory and have all things work together, knee on the neck, all things work together. Um, Two million people diagnosed with a virus in, in three months, all things work together. A country steeped in treason, hate, hate, genocide, hatred towards various groups of people, even sometimes towards own self, and say that Jesus yet is the answer, and that can provide hope for it. I started a radio show uh, last night, talk radio show last night locally here, and uh, concluded with a final thought um, that we choose to edit. And that was the message we were trying to uh, relay there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Time for the church to do a self-evaluation. Now we know what the world is doing. Let us finally get it right and show the world how it can be going by building up God's kingdom in the way that it needs to be built up and then going out to the world and saying to them, now this is how you do it, how the right. church is doing it, how we right. recognize that right. institutions like Southern Baptist Convention is steeped in, in racial hate in history, admitting to that, joining together and moving forward, banning those resources together. I want to challenge, if I could, Matt, uh, to uh, churches, white churches out there that spends millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars on the international mission field, that you would mm -hmm. dissect, bring some of those resources to the inner cities that you mm -hmm. drive past every day, that make sure Jerusalem and Judea and, yeah. and Samaria is taken care, uh, taken care of before you go to the uttermost parts of the earth. And mm -hmm. that if you just, if uh, God bless them, Rick Warren can go and change Rwanda uh, through the money that he made through Perfect Different Light, why can't he change the inner city of L.A. that's just uh, a freeway ride away from him in the same way? If you enjoyed this conversation from the Monday Morning Preacher podcast, discover the full episode at preachingtoday.com slash podcast.